Hello and welcome to Disney News Show. Oh my goodness. The trailer, the first official trailer for Disney's 2014 movie, Maleficent, has just been released online and it is absolutely stunning. Please, if you haven't yet seen it, please go and watch it now. There'll be a link on the screen right now for you to go and watch it. But, um, absolutely amazing. Let's start at the beginning of the trailer. And, um, different to, to normal, the um, castle that we saw with the Disney logo was not the normal Cinderella castle. It was what looked to be the Forbidden Fortress, Maleficent's, um, castle from, um, from the movie. And that got me extremely excited. Something very different there that, um, we've not seen before and it just kind of gave the tone of the movie, it looked absolutely stunning um, and the, the, the CGI in this looks amazing and that's what I guess you get for having Robert Stromberg as the director and um, more about that as well in a second. But you have the castle there, swoops over to um, some a mountainous area, kind of zooms in to uh, what I thought at the very first looked like um, their take on something like Pixie Hollow. There was um, there was what looked like fairies and um, these kind of unusual creatures that had um, some kind of fins or tentacles or something um, which it looked like Aurora was talking to at one point in the trailer. Now the um, the the CGI, the actual visuals of this were were absolutely incredible, and that I'm so so um, looking forward to actually seeing how in depth this um, this the the backgrounds and the uh, the CGI for this goes because of course with Robert Stromberg, who is the director of Maleficent, is best known for his work as the production designer on Disney's previous movies Alice in Wonderland and Oz the Great and Powerful, both of which had. Um, amazing, amazing visuals, as well as Avatar, and it was always expected that we would get um, these, these, um, this amazing scenery that we have seen here. Even just the, um, the scene where well, it looked like Aurora was running through a field, that, um, the, even just the detail in that, in that scene was amazing. And one other thing I did love, one other moment, was it looked like Diablo was flying off from, um, from the Forbidden Fortress um, over the over the, the countryside, um, just amazing. Now on to the leading lady, the main event, of course, Angelina Jolie in the role of Maleficent. I cannot explain how perfect she looked in that scene where it looks like Maleficent and Aurora are possibly meeting for the first time and she's in the shadows and you see her eyes and it is just perfect. Oh my God, Angelina Jolie has done the most amazing job here. In these few seconds, really, it is, that we saw of her character, she, she's, she's amazing. She just, she just completely, completely hooked me on a, just, just the whole characterization. Her, her voice, her voice was really, really, um, interesting. It's different from, um, from what, what we know from the original movie, um, but, of course, she's doing her own thing, but it, I think it really works with with her character and um, what she's trying to to convey here. Really, really works, and um, I think that's that. Th this movie is it's about her, and I think Angelina Jolie's really taken that upon herself to give her this really worthwhile, um, and meaningful um, character and I cannot wait to see more. Now, there was not a great deal of. Um, of characters in this um, in this trailer, really only um, Maleficent and Aurora, who is being played by Elle Fanning, and um, to me, um, an interesting choice for um, Aurora, a good choice, but an interesting choice, and I'm really excited to see what she does with this role, um, being um, Disney, one of Disney's most iconic princesses, and she had the the majority of the. Um, of the voiceover as well, you heard um, some, what she was t saying about Melissa that she'd been her, um, she'd been watching over her her whole life, and um, that that's kind of um, very very interesting to see what they'll be doing with that kind of story as well. Uh, has um, has Melissa been had she been a guardian of, her, of a role of some sort? Not entirely sure, um, but we do see the moment when um, a role is about to go and prick her finger on the spinning wheel. Which sends her into um, into the into the deep sleep, as um, we all know 
from the movie. Now, I did like that the moment we saw her on her bed. It gave very much a, a homage to um, to the Sleeping Beauty, um, the original 1959 movie. Much more so than um, Once Upon a Time did in their season 2 premiere, um, Broken, in which um, I did not like the, the Sleeping Beauty story that they used there. Um, but we cannot really compare Once Upon a Time to Melissa. As much as I love Once Upon a Time, um, it's very, very different. And um, one other thing I just mentioned there about um, the Once Upon a Time parallels to Maleficent is Maleficent's skin colour is something that I was slightly, slightly concerned about. We'd seen all these images of Maleficent, um, Angelina Jolie, um, without green skin, and anyone who will see, has seen Sleeping Beauty, the original movie, will know that Maleficent is green um, for the entirety, and there is one moment in this trailer with um, when Listent is um, kind of casting the spell or whatever she's doing to create the thorns um, or the big um, thorn bushes and there is a slight the moment you can't see it very clearly but possibly Listent's face is green in that scene so hopefully there's um, a moment when we see her change um, her skin colour to green um, possibly a la Mila Kunis in Oz the Great and Powerful um, we have got Robert Stromberg after all and um, possibly we will see that um, unless it will be like um, Kirsten Balvin starting in um, Once Upon a Time when she's, um, she is not green at all so I'll be very interested to see about that. One other thing that I think we did get a very quick glimpse at is the moment that um, Maleficent comes and um, interrupts Aurora's christening and so I believe um, that was the moment when she was walking through the crowd possibly, don't hold me to that, but um, but yeah extremely excited about this movie. I can hardly tell you um, how much I cannot wait for May 30th. That seems a while away actually, it's over six months away until we will actually get to watch this movie. But um, until then we've got this trailer, these one minute and 20 seconds to, um, to hold us over until then. And I'm sure we will get more um, footage and more information in the coming months. So um, please let me know your thoughts down below. Um, are you as excited as I am? Can you not wait to see Angelina Jolie in a full um, Maleficent form? On the um, on the big screen next year, I know I can't. And so there we have it. This has been the Disney News Show. I am Joe Worthington, aka Quelsler Coat, and thank you very much for watching. I will see you soon. Goodbye.